All right, we'd like to welcome everyone through uh, FaceTime today from the Department of Labor, Ms. Denise Beckwith. And uh, Ms. Beckwith, thank you so much for speaking with us today. I know you guys are really busy. We have a lot of viewers that um, really would like to know what type of benefits are going to be coming for those who will have to be uh, sent home for a period of time. Of course, this affects a lot of people in the state of Georgia. And, I, and again, we know you guys are really busy, but could you please share with us, uh, first of all, uh, since the COVID-19 virus has, has broken out and a lot of people have had to send people home, what, what emergency rules has your office adopted? Um, uh, on the 19th of March, we adopted a rule that required employers to uh, or we're mandating employers to uh, file partial claims. These are called employer file claims on behalf of their workers who were temporarily laid off, furloughed, or their employers or employees' hours were reduced hmm. due to COVID-19. Okay, now when you say employee hours are reduced, what is the percentage there, please? It really is not a percentage. It's anybody whose hours are, it could be a full-time or a part-time worker whose hours are reduced. Okay. Uh, now, uh, Denise, uh, if, I, if someone has a job, they're full-time, and then they lose a part-time job, does that apply to them as well? Yes, but uh, currently our current rules are that um, the maximum benefit amount you can receive in Georgia is $365 a week. So the first $50 that you earn, if you are working, um, is, is basically free money. But anything after that, we deduct out of your weekly benefit amount dollar for dollar. Okay. Uh, right now, if someone uh, is seeking employment at all, there's, there's little or, or no opportunity in that arena. Am I correct in saying that? Let me back oh, up. Oh, no, that's not correct. Okay. We still have... Um, we have online services to register for our employment services. Um, it's through Employ Georgia. That's 24-7. Right now, we have over 100,000 um, job opportunities out there. So, yes, and our and even though our uh, local offices are closed to the public, our staff is still working. We're processing claims. We're there to take calls. If somebody needs um, counseling, uh, job services um, they can call their local career centers and people are there to assist them okay so just because the doors are closed to our career center uh, here in in Dublin it doesn't mean that the office is closed there's still staff on uh, standby to help yeah well see, yeah staff is on standby through uh, by contacting the offices mm -hmm. they're there to help um, again as I was indicating our employee Georgia uh, it can help uh, individuals create resumes. You can upload your resume on the, on this. It kind of works 24-7. So as people sleep, it is, it's, it's looking at your resume and trying to job match you to opportunities. Wonderful. Uh, Ms. Beckwith, uh, when we look at unemployment rates at, what, 3.1 was probably the most recent number yes. we saw? How do you feel about that going forward? Well, uh, with the volume of claims, I do I do believe our rates are going to go up. I, I'm not sure how high we're going to get, but we will see an increase with our unemployment rate. What amount of time does one have to be off the job to file a claim as an employee? They, if the minute they, the last day they work, they can go home and file their claim. How long of a turnaround will it take for them to start receiving money? Well, this is the mandate to require employers to file employer file claims. One of the reasons we did that is that is an all electronic process. It doesn't require our staff to process the claim. It's all done electronically. We have two methods for the employers to file. They can either individually enter a claim in for each one of their workers or just recently we launched a uh, file upload where they have a template they can load all their workers on the template and upload it that process again is not touched by staff um, so within 48 hours from the time they upload their workers a payment will be released to them either in the mail or there's two we, we pay by two options 
we either they will either receive direct deposit if they elect to enroll in our direct deposit or they will receive in the mail a debit card Wonderful. now at, if if the individual ends up having to file on their own that that could take up to 21 days or longer for them to receive their first payment that's why it is crucial for employers to file on behalf of their workers so that we can um, get the the claim process and the payments in the hands of their um, temporarily um, unemployed workers. Yes, and so that uh, employers better understand that. Let's review that again. If an employee is going to be laid off or employees are going to be uh, laid off for a period of time, what's the first step that an employer should take? The employer should visit our website which is at gdol.ga.gov. On our home page, there is an alert message. You will find a, um, it, a wealth of information about our programs, the uh, employer file claims. It will give them uh, instructions about uh, what they need to do, how they need to do that. Um, and then they will either have to make a decision if they want to file that singly um, for each individual worker, which uh, if you have a large amount of, of staff, I would recommend doing the uh, multi-employee upload. Um, but if you if you just have a few individuals, you can do those entered in uh, single, single entries. But um, again, I would do that immediately, get, get the claims set up, and then we'll start making the payments to the workers. Now, they have to do that each week in order for a weekly payment to go out uh, to their workers. Okay. Uh, let me also ask you, I, I know you're in touch with, with other agencies, with the uh, you know, Department of Revenue, with, with the governor's office probably. Do you foresee any relief? We've heard different stories about relief for employers to keep employees on staff. Um, I'm not, I'm not really, um, familiar with all of that stuff. I do know we're going to offer relief for employers who file partial claims. Mm -hmm. This will be the, the claims will be non-charged against their account. Mm. So that's another reason why uh, that employer should take advantage of this. Very good information. So let's reiterate that again. Employers will not be charged against their account if they're having employees due to the COVID-19 virus who are being uh, laid off or furloughed or what have you for a period of time. Yes, as long as they file their, those claims on behalf of their workers through the employer file partial claim system. Wonderful information. Yes. Uh, let's pause for a moment and say that you all always have uh, quite a bit of, uh, of uh, business summits on, on different locations. Uh, are you offering those online, the, the regular business summits at uh, or at different locations throughout the state so that we, you can keep uh, employers uh, abreast of current information? Uh, no, not at this time. Okay. And in moving forward, uh, tax forms being filed uh, uh -huh. or other forms being filed. Uh, any other information that you could give us? Are there uh, grace periods for any of that for taxes and for things that are due from uh, employers? Um, you want all of our tax forms are on our website. We're we're still looking at some of those options, but you can file and uh, report your wages on your um, quarterly taxes through our website. Additional information, because uh, you know this wasn't a gradual approach. We went from zero to sixty overnight. So we're we're analyzing things. Um, our our number one goal right now is to get our cl our claims processed. But we will continue to analyze the different processes um, and look at if extensions, uh, deadline extensions should be made. Mm. And that is why I would tell employers and the workers to continue to monitor our website, monitor that alert page, because we're constantly updating and changing processes and, and that information will be updated um, uh, quite frequently. So I would continue to monitor that. 
Uh, Ms. Beck, with, uh, I know you have to spread out your employees. I'm sure you have some staff in office uh, because you've responded to us quickly. Thank you so much for doing that and for helping us get this information out. As I know, it'll be a benefit to everyone, the state as well as locals. But um, in your office, could you share with us uh, about how many people you have that are actually available for phone calls and people calling in? Um, we're trying to, all of our career centers are available for people. So if people need to uh, contact the Georgia Department of Labor, they need to contact their local career centers. Uh, we do have a customer service line here at the central office. Uh, we, we are putting as many people as we can on the claims as well as uh, training staff. We have staff from other departments that are not associated with the unemployment program that have volunteered to help the unemployment uh, program. So we are conducting training sessions with them, getting them up to speed to help us answer calls, file claims. Yeah. On a, a, a note of uh, advice toward uh, employers, what advice would you give the employers of the state? Again, I would advise them that if their workers are out of work, um, for COVID-19 to go ahead and file their claim for their workers quickly. Um, you know, as this increases and the volume increases, it, uh, we, we just want to eliminate any delays in getting the money out to the workers. Okay. And then the employees, uh, what would you say to the employees of the state of Georgia? Well, again, if what they first need to do is uh, they need to check with their employer to see if they have filed on behalf of their workers. If for some reason they find out their employer is not going to do that, that does not prevent them from going ahead and filing the claim on, uh, you know, for themselves. They can visit our website, our claim. We have a few methods to file the claim. They can go online um, on our homepage. There's a link, apply for unemployment benefits. They can file online. They can do that uh, uh, via their computers at home, their smartphones. If for some reason individuals do not have a computer or a smartphone, we have set up telephone claims. If they need to contact their local career center uh, who will have staff uh, available to file their claim online. But the last thing I would say is just be patient. We're working, uh, we're working long hours here at the Georgia Department of Labor. All, all staff, it's all hands on deck. And, and we're trying to get um, the payments and their claims processed quickly. Thank you so much, Denise right. Beckwith, for, for joining us today. We thank you and we wish you well. All right. Thank you so much.